Well, by now we've seen all the images of the complete devastation in the Philippines caused by Typhoon Haiyan. Honolulu City Councilman Joy Monahan flew to the country in search of a friend, and he's here with us this morning to share his story. Good morning to you, and thanks for coming in. Good morning. And so tell us about who you were looking for and what happened. Well, I was looking for a friend and a constituent, uh, Father Teddy uh, Gagu, and he uh, was a priest, uh, our pastor for at St. Anthony's in Kalihi for 13 years. Uh, he ministered uh, to prisoners and sick people, people who couldn't come to church, basically. And uh, uh, he retired recently in Tacloban City in September, and then November the uh, super typhoon hit. And so we were worried about him, and uh, we were trying to look for him. Right. So you said he'd, you'd send him an email and never heard from him, right? So that's when the concern really grew. Yeah, the day after the storm, we sent him an email and I didn't hear from him for about a week. So within that week, I was really worried that, you know, we, fear, we feared the worst, certainly. So you got on a plane and... Yeah, so I went to Manila, uh, flew to Cebu, and then I made my way out to Tacloban City. Um, I brought him some mosquito nets and some medicine, which he requested. And uh, he showed me around for a few hours and uh, it was... Uh, Nothing like I've ever seen in my life. I mean, right, can you even describe what, what the devastation was like? Well, you know, Typhoon Yolanda, as we all know, packed 230 kilometer an hour winds. Uh, by all accounts, they were uh, uh, sustained winds for four to five hours, continuous, right? But on top of that, in Tacloban City, in ground zero, there was a tsunami surge. And at the lowest point of what I saw, it was at least, at the lowest point, 20 feet. So, uh, and the, the inundation zone was over a mile in, and uh, even a mile in, uh, the water rushed up to people's uh, shoulders in a matter of seconds. So, just imagine that. Oh my gosh. So, Father Teddy is okay. Father Teddy's okay. I'm happy to report that, and uh, he's doing well. Uh, he's helping a lot of people out there uh, through the church. They're still very active, uh, handing out relief goods uh, through Catholic Relief Services, and uh, uh, working with the bishop out there who I met with as well. So uh, we talk about all these fundraisers that have been happening around the islands, but it's going to take a long time for these people to rebuild, right? Absolutely. Uh, I think, you know, their main source of income and revenue is uh, coconuts, and every single coconut tree I saw was snapped in half. I mean, just from the, from the pure strength of the wind. Uh, it takes five to six years for them to grow, so it's, it's going to take them a while to get back up on their feet. So any little help is is, is absolutely be absolutely okay. I, everything's going to help, and, right. and I hope we're we're in it for the uh, for the long haul. All right, well, Councilman, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Great talking with you, and glad to know Father Teddy's okay. Well, thank you very much for for helping us find him. Actually, he found it. Uh, we found him. Uh, uh, he saw the post on Facebook. So oh, thank good. you. All right, well, glad we could help. Thank you very and much. Once, uh, yeah, thank you. And coming up next, uh